Hi people, how you doing? So let me first tell you, I've never seen <laughs> Babu, the man behind the camera, as excited as I've seen him like just a few minutes before. The reason being, he has met one of his the guys who has inspired his love for dogs. Like Babu was jumping around like a small baby. Hmm. So we are going to meet the man who, who inspired Babu. So I'm still in Nakuru. I'm still doing my tour of Nakuru and the dog lovers of Nakuru. And today I'm meeting the African dog man. Hmm. The African dog man himself. He has inspired a lot when it comes to a lot of people when it comes to dogs and uh, the business of keeping dogs and breeding. So I'll let him introduce himself because hmm, this man, I'll let him introduce himself. So keep watching, keep subscribing. Do not forget to leave me a nice comment and also hit the notification bell to get notified every time we upload a new video. I'm your girl Linda Kenyita and this is Dog TV Kenya, the best documentary channel for all dog lovers. So let him introduce himself hello sir uh, hello too <laughs> introduce yourself to my people my name is paul mwagi jina mm yakasi -hmm. i'm african dogman mm -hmm. I, the african dogman how long have you been keeping dogs uh, honestly it's over 30 years in the field of dog 30 years over 30 years yeah. and you're still going on still going on okay now before we go on I meet a lot of people who tell me, Linda, these small, small dogs, what, we do not understand these small, small dogs. What are their purpose? So, before I go on with this interview, let us introduce me to this um, tiny, she is here or he here, and then to give us the purpose of, of that kennel, small kennel there, and why that small dog is there. Uh, well, this is Japanese Pit. Mm -hmm. It's an alarm dog. Mm -hmm. It's one of the best dogs ever moja pa ile mzuri sana for the alarm mm -hmm. na they can even bite though the best they do is alerting you when there is anything happening around your compound then the bigger dogs or the acting dogs they come and join her yeah so people you understand that one and as you can see the proximity of the kennel and the gate so introduce <coughs> her, her name? Fiona. Mm -hmm. uh, Fiona? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, come on. Good girl. Good, 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 good. How old is she? She's, she's among the oldest dog in my kennel. Mm -hmm. uh, more than 10 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also tell us something about that. Small dogs, how long, what's the lifespan of small dogs? Smaller dogs live longer than bigger dogs. Mm -hmm. They can uh, live up to almost 20 years. Mm -hmm. In comparison with the other dogs, about 10 or 12 years or 15, mm. these they go up to 20 years. Oh. Yeah, she's over 10 years. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, this dog is over 10 years. So you see, now understanding small breeds, security, they live longer. Okay, so now when it comes to the dogs that you have, which breeds do you have currently? Uh, I have a German Shepherd, Boa Bell from South Africa, Rottweiler, I have Highland Terriers. Matisse Terrier mm -hmm. and Glade Highland Terriers, we haven't uh, met those ones, so, but I haven't seen the dogs yet, so uh, I'll let him take me to the dogs, we get to meet the dogs, we get to see the dogs. Okay, let's go to the dogs. You see the Highland Terrier, you see the Highland Terrier. Oh, okay. Over 30 years of keeping dogs, oh my god, what, what, what has inspired you to keep dogs? What inspired you to start keeping dogs? Well, well, I started as passion when I was young. I exchanged my, do my, my hand with a, with a do puppy dog. And those are several years down the line. Yeah, several years down the line. This is the high arteria. These small dogs, you know, when you see small dogs, you don't know they have different names. Uh, they have different, different names. This is Hyra Terrier. Mm -hmm. It's slightly bigger than Spit mm -hmm. and uh, Mamatis Terrier. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a capuan. Does uh, it go to grow a little bit longer? Uh, no, no, it is just like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and this other one, the neighbor? This is close between uh, Spit and Matisteria. That's why the, the, the ears are elect. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
is close between the two. So over 30 years of keeping dogs, yeah. what has been the experience? Well, it's very true. Mm -hmm. uh, though we have a lot of challenges while, while doing this business. Mm -hmm. uh, however, mm -hmm. uh, I have managed over those 30 years because my kids, what mm -hmm. uh, we and I'm going graduate through sweat to a doggy. Originally, I mean, it was a case of like any love of dog, he can eat or he can let a kwaumba. Now I do uh, dogs 24/7. Mm -hmm. Training watu, mm -hmm. uh, breeding and selling them. Na na ona ni kasi muzuri. And I can even encourage you le mutu na fikiri ya kufanya i kasi si kasi baya. Ni na tumia spesi dogo na faida yake si baya. Yeah. Na, na wile upendo wala sabu, like if, kama, kama upendi umbwa, unaweza wezana? Kusema kweri kabisa, kama mtu wapendi umbwa, mm -hmm. hawezi wezana. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu when it comes to feeding, mm -hmm. eh, inaweza kuona kama unapotesa pesa. Mm -hmm. Kinunua masiwa, kinunua mayai, and the like, mm -hmm. and uh, usavi, it is really charging. Kwa hivyo lasima ukue na upendo, mm -hmm. kabisa. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now, over the years, uh, we had a uh, corona hit us last year. How has that affected the business? Kuzema kweli, hiyo ni moja hapo haide challenges jawai experience in my life kwa sababu hata corona kuzema kweli hii jawai kuja hapo mbereni. Na hiyo imeni gonga ili tokea most of my client sasa mtu walikuwa na shukurika na kushunga mambo yake. Vile biyashara zingine zili yanguka mfuko ni kama watu ili kuwa ndogo kwa hivyo hata kununua umba ilikuwa challenge kama last year ni had several papers na kuziuza ilikuwa little little challenge ili nisumbua ikanizumbua wakanikura kwa sababu wakati papi unauza wakiwa wandogo itakuwa the better lakini wakichelewa definitely utaendea ni kama wanakura mwingine faida ile ungeona unaona inapunguka inapunguka na ikakuwa hivyo kwa hivyo hata hii mwaka diyo najaribu kwa muka kidogo and I'm glad kwa sababu sasa uh, COVID, mambo ya COVID ni kama imefunguka, mambo imeanza kufunguka. Na biyashara imefunguka na inshi imefunguriwa. At least now things are not very bad. Yeah, at the moment. Now, that years ago starting breeding, what was your first dog? What breed was it? Well, that's a good question. Niliansia na umba moja tu. Just one dog, German Shepherd. Yeah. Female. Down the line. Uh, na wakati litaji begu ni travel Bali kuenda kutafuta dume the right male mm -hmm. na nikapata then they started there so, when you look at uh, let's compare you back then the journey and now ukiangalia back then when you compare back then you starting na sasa hivi has there been any growth has there been any development in the industry of dog lovers and dog breeders well, well, if I compare wakati niliansia na saa hii, eh, definitely ispokuwa sasa nayo biashara ukifanya watu wengi wanaona ni mzuri wanakuwa sasa competition inakuwa iko juu. Lakini watu wanaendelea kujua umuhimu wa umbwa. Samani si watu wengi wagetambua umbwa hata kusikia ati unanunua mayai ya umbwa ama masiwa. Wengine hata wanasheka. Ni mtoto nitanunulia mayai ama ni umbwa. Ah! Anaona kama wewe hata saa ingine, there's something wrong with you. Ni kama wakati nikuwa naanza kujaga hizi keno. Wadu waliona ni mwaga mawe ni mepanga na sema hii ati ni lento. Kuzikia mbaadu ati ni indongi. Ai, what's wrong with this man? Dito diyo hawa kujua sasa kumbe inaweza kuwa ni biyashara. Wakati sasa mambo inaendelea vizuri. Kwa hivyo, difference ikuwa kubwa sana nao in comparison na mapema na samani kwa sababu sasa watu wanatabua umba the value dogs na ukimuambia mbei has to be sana pegina na begin lakini siyo kusema ni puroti una ni uzia ama ni dogi ama ni ngombe sasa mambo ni tufauti kidogo today yeah kwa zile mbo zoto umeeka which one has been your favorite breed definitely my favorite breed ni jema and shepherd na hiyo diyo ime ni preka juu sana Na, not only me, most of my clients, unazikia mutu wanaita German Shepherd, umbo ya police, at the police dog. The others, wanakuja kuzijua badai. Na inakuwa mzuri kwa sababu, na impenda kwa sababu, handling a German Shepherd is not very hard, though umbo zote ni wazuri, lakini my favorite is German Shepherd. Yeah. Now, today, 
kuna YouTube. If I want to learn about dogs, I'll go search YouTube. Now, oh, back then when you were starting, how did you acquire information about dogs? How did you get to be known as the African dog man? Well, well, well. Hapo mwanzo mwanzo eh nilikuwa natafuta vitambu. Sasa hivi niko na vitambu zinatoshana hivi. Again, nilikuwa natembelea wale watu sasa even in the, in the forces police forces dog unit. Nilikuwa natembelea marafiki wale wanafanya huko. Kwa hivyo some of knowledge na kwa huko pole 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 tu lakini mingi nimetoka nimetoka kwa vitambu. I have several books. Now mambo ni hizi kwa sababu naingia tu kwa kwa net na unapata chochote unataka kufanya. Eh mbona zamani ni vitabu tu. Niko na mingi na manyo mingi nimeandika na zingine nimesaidiwa kuandika. Yeah. Sometimes sagine ni record mzuri kwa sababu saa nyingine kuna swali mtu anaweza kuniuliza na narudi uh, kwa, kwa vitabu eh, kwa sababu kuna vitu zingine nilikuja Quran eh, kwa vitabu naweza pita zote pita zote na uzione lakini when you go crowd na dogi unaanza ku realize mambo zingine mpaka language ya umbwa you can communicate with the dog without even speaking uielewe na yeye kuelewe hata uiangalie njue ni na yeye angalie njue inataka nini naga unaendelea yeah no, do you have a demo dog that you can show us a few tricks that you've trained over the years well at the moment most of the good dogs ni kwa nimestuma kazi ije kama vile ni kutajia hapo mbele ni kidogo eh kwa hivyo most wale wako hapa hata kama kuna mambo kidogo anasafanya is not very perfect at the moment yeah wale wasafi wako nje si hata ni mbaya hata hawa lakini wale for demonstration about you are sure it cannot attack the interfere eh ukiongelesha itasikia kabisa bila mjezo hawako hapa because niko nao hata wale wanafanya kazi nzuri hata tracking yeah now for for young dog lovers and the young breeders that you have inspired over the years like <laughs> my companion here what advice do you have for them eh kitu ya kwanza naambia vile vile wamependa umbo ama have inspired them kupenda umbo eh hiyo kitu walikuwa nayo ndani yao kwa sababu you cannot inspire na ile kitu ambayo haiko bali pengine haijatokea na sasa hiyo ni mzuri kwa sababu anaweza kuigeuza na ikuwe biashara not only kuwapenda tu not only kuwaweka tu kama pet unaweza turn ikuwe biashara na ikuwe na faida na manufaa in future yeah now over the years eh, miaka inaenda and you have this big kennel which is very clean do you have help how how easy or how hard is it to acquire help when it comes to the area of dogs is it easy to get a helper who is actually will take care of your dogs kama wewe mwenyewe eh, kusema kweli kabisa it's not easy kupata helper in field of dog what wengi they don't love dogs they don't like dogs they associate dogs na kinyesi <laughs> as if kwa kwangu nauliza hata kaa ni ngombe ama ni kuku bado afuta kukula tasima kutakuwa na nini lakini however mmoja mmoja anakuja na mtrain kwanza na mleta karibu aelewe kazi ya dogi si bani kazi kama kazi ile ingine eventually anapata na wengine hata wanapenda saidi hata saa hii niko na mtu tunasaidiana naye kuna mahali nimemtuma na shughulikia mambo fulani fulani mm. e, tunasaidiana naye mm. lakini hakuna kazi yake na yangu mm. kama ni uzavi kama ni kutayarisha chakula kama ni nini mm. yote tunafanya pamoja hata ndio na mwen college alialize kumbe si kumuita ndio atasukumage ushafu mimi nikiweka mikono mfukoni mm. ah ah hiyo mm. kazi tunafanya pamoja anzi hapa ni anzi hapa mm. eh, na kuosha umbo kusichana kukata makusha mm. and the like mm. Eh uh, I I I haven't met you before but the moment I saw your costume the way you dressed I knew it's him Explain that to me Kitu ya kwanza eh wakati ninafanya kazi hapa eh ninafurahia wakati nimefaa na sui ya kata kani nguo zangu za ndani sipate ushafu eh kwa hivyo na hii sasa ni mzuri na mbulifu vizuri I kafi mwili yote eh and I love it yeah Yeah, you see people when you love your job even, even even your costumes you come to love your costumes and the material like you know sometimes um da, is the material tough enough like i was bite easily ama is it just kind of material yeah this kind of material kwa no. kwa sababu ile ama soezi wakati tunafanya training hiyo ni ile umbo haiwezi uma but for this one hii hii haina mambo mengi 
hii ni matido tu ya kawaida eh nako with your experience of dogs when it comes to dogs and diseases what diseases when what diseases should uh, a dog owner be aware of and how do you kind of try control them well well that's a very good question kwa sababu mm -hmm. uh, challenges of external and internal parasites hiyo mm -hmm. ni kitu moja ambao ni very very serious there can be a little challenge mm -hmm. ambayo inaesata kuvagia keno yako mzima kitu ya kwanza kuna mandawa ile tunatumia ya kusafisha umbwa for external parasites kitu kama kupe eh, filoboto mm -hmm. na vitu zingine hata tuweziona na macho wanaita dog mage mm -hmm. inaingia tu kwa manyoya unaona manyoya inaanguka oh. yeah again nao sa minyo mm -hmm. kwa sababu lazima udi warm regularly mm -hmm. eh, dio sasa at least mnyama kuwe mzavi juu hata kama uko na chakula kiasi gani lakini kuna minyo ama kuna filoboto challenges itakuwa kali mm -hmm. yeah also now when uh, i think i'll ask this when it comes to the design of the kennel how do you ensure that you're building a kennel yenye haitabaki unaona huko ni kusafi na kunaonekana kumeosha na maji but we do not have any water logs we do not have any smell coming out actually people it doesn't smell like i'm even in a kennel and and people well kept kennels do not smell <laughs> they do not stink so how is that how do you maintain the the overall hygiene of the kennel when start from the st structures to the drainage system yeah 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 kitu ya kwanza na ile ya muhimu saidi eh, wakati una design the kennel mm. ni kuhakikisha the drainage will be okay mm. such that wakati una fagia ama tunasafisha mm -hmm. kuna zile shampoo tunatumia mm -hmm ambazo sasa sinafukuza filomboto inatoa hata alfu baya mm -hmm. na dio keno to maintain amla hii and then regularly mm -hmm. lazima kuna tembelewa mm -hmm. regularly mm -hmm. siwezi kaa timchana mzima hakuna mtu anaingia hapa kuangalia mm -hmm. just in case mm -hmm. kuna mnyama ameshafua nyumba mm -hmm. especially the young ones mm -hmm. they cannot control themselves they can uh, poop everywhere mm -hmm. but for mature dogs they, they do it daily mm -hmm. yeah what about the drainage you like we have to take me through your drainage system for your kennel yeah uh, starting from there mm -hmm. now see here there's a septic here mm -hmm. oh yeah <laughs> people i'm standing right in front of it and i can't see yeah yeah you talk up for the both kennels here mm -hmm. then down there mm -hmm. there's another manhole here mm -hmm. and another one there mm -hmm. up to the septic oh. down there Eh, because it is important to make sure hakuna kitu inayosaonekana hapa yote inafagiriwa na inaenda tu kama vile tuna maintain our, our houses eh, lazima yote yo, iende mahali pake yeah and now have you like when it comes to dogs you know we we you, we, we take care of dogs we raise them we bond with them have you ever had a, a scenario where ulipoteza mbwa that you did not expect not kwa uzee or anything like that have you oh they are there they are there nasi moja eh kuna mangonjwa inaweza kuja mm -hmm. ikiwa acute mm -hmm. eh kuna moja inakuwa very challenging mm -hmm. eh mara ina twist oh. eh it is common kuligana vile daktari wanasema mm -hmm. kwa wale wanyama wakubwa mm -hmm. i think even human being mm -hmm. tunasikia ati mara ina twist mm -hmm. ambayo inaitisha urgent operation mm -hmm. hiyo inafanyika hapa kwa dogi uh, that's why in most cases mm -hmm. if we have just fed the dogs mm -hmm. we discourage visitors mm -hmm. because one or two dogs can uh, experience that because we inaruka inasunguka inasunguka that can happen mm -hmm. uh, if i know that they, they are coming visitors mm -hmm. uh, it, and it is feeding hour mm -hmm. i have to wait until they are gone mm -hmm. so that i can feed my dogs oh. otherwise immediately after feeding mm -hmm. we discourage visitors mm -hmm. uh, now uh, you've explained like hiyo uh, mkurukaruka now after feeding the dog what is the recommended time that i let them settle before now creating excitement am i letting them out for exercise eh uh, one or two hours mm -hmm. eh yeah, because mara mingi wakati sasa atakaa tunaumba inaenda kasi nje because sometimes kuna kampuni they hire my dogs or even individual eh uh, i have to feed those dogs that are going to work earlier than normal I normally feed them around uh, 5 6 mm -hmm. but if dog is going to work mm -hmm. they have to be fed between 3 and 4 mm -hmm. pm mm -hmm. 
so that by six mm -hmm. uh, it is easy even they are going to uh, survive with a vehicle mm -hmm. they cannot puke mm -hmm. armor the problem mm -hmm. of uh, your uh, twisting mm -hmm. your height to care mm -hmm. uh, one or two hours okay. now going to the issue of exercise how important is exercise to dogs uh, exercise is very very important to dogs uh, because now if you don't exercise your dog regularly mm -hmm. uh, most of them they become very lazy na leo challenge ni ile watoto wa dog watoto wa dog they need more time uh, to play or even to walk around than even bigger dogs mm -hmm. but dogs to do exercise every day every day mm -hmm. yeah so now hey, every day every day every day yeah. so what kind of for somebody who hasn't watched our episodes before what kind of exercises are dogs supposed to do? Like now, talk on your personal experience. Like, what do you do with your dogs to exercise them? Uh, sometimes, in a zakuwa ni kutembea tu, na mtembea sa umbo tu. Kama ni yapa sa gini tu mwanja training, na watu watu ije ni kona kasi mkado wapa. Hapo kido watu ni kama tu na waprovoke. Even if we are not going to go for a walk, tu na waprovoke so that wana kibia, wana kibia, wana kibia. Na unangadia wa meshoka vizuri, unaona tiare. Mm -hmm. Na wakirudi tu watarala, unaona kweri wa melidika. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so, tell me, what is this? Eh, hapa, mm -hmm. ni mahali saingine natoa wanyama. Hata kama atutembei walk inje, mm -hmm. na watoa hapa, watembei, watembei. Mm -hmm. eh, kama papis, wanayasatembei hapa for a number of hours, mm -hmm. then halafu wanarudi. Hata wale wakumbwa, wale haesu chafuwa kwa nyumba, na watoa hapa, wanakuja kujisaidia. Na kunyosha tu miguu kidogo hivi. Sasa diyo unaona kuna compartment kuna hii, na kuna hii, na kuna hile. Kwa sababu sometimes kuligana age na witi ya umbu wa siwa ya kipamoja. Mm. Juhu hata kama saa ingini ya siwa tikumumana, inesachesecha hile ni yang na ifuje. Na ifuje, ikicheza tu. That's why it is better. Different, different compartments. Different. Oh. Yeah. This is nice. So you see like... Um, the, the dogs do not have, it's not like they, they stay there at the road, so this is playground. Hey people, Mimi Haya Maneno. Every day, it's, every day it's a challenge, so when you're thinking about having more than one dog and you're thinking about their well-being, this is something you have to be in consideration with that. You don't have time every day to take them for a walk, but they need to stretch and exercise. And over the years, oh my God, people complain about um, uh, when it comes to dogs, veterinary services, how true is it, how expensive is it, how affordable is it over the years? Guzema uh, Kweri, when it comes to services, yeah, veterinary, I'm Kitari, Mbwa are slightly expensive in comparison na pengine wanyama ingine ni meweka. Ata kama sijaweka sana kama fili meweka mbwa. But however, it's affordable kwa sababu. Kama unapenda mbwa na kugojeka, it's not. Kama kusafi hiko na kushunga interno na external parasite, mangojo itakuwa minimo. Lakini ikikuja. Lasma, utakalamia? Yeah. You know all your dogs by their names? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Name is very important. La simba kila umbu atakani miya tatu ikuwe na jina. Otherwise, communication without name, itakuwa some challenges. Kwa sabu ni avaa, ataka una simama hapa, hile utaita inajue ni yona ita. Na hile spot kuligana filu na yambia. Other than the speed, which is more than 10 years old, your oldest dogs, especially for the dog big breeds, how old is they? The eldest one? The eldest one is about, about, about eight years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about challenges when it comes to dogs and challenges that comes with Okongwe. Well, how, how do you take care of an old dog? Very good. Sasa wakati mba imezeeka, iyo naishukuria kama wale watoto. The older dogs, I make sure ata kama ni nyama imekatakatu kadogo kadogo na shakura yake yake naangalia even special diet is even sometimes wanakula mayai kama siwa kama vile na nape watoto the older dogs they have to be taken care of kama mtoto mm. Mm. like here have one very old almost 20 years old a big dog but he's still here i think i want to oh, see the i haven't met a 20 year old dog people do you want to see a 20 year old dog she's very old she's here mm. 
She's uh, she, she active ama She's active uh, a bit. We call her Chuchu Tanya. Nyanya Tanya. <laughs> People I'm going to see Shosho Tanya. And uh, for 20 years like wh- when you keep a dog for 20 years like um I feel bad asking this question but cuz you have a lot of dogs. Yeah. So why keep that one for those 20 years? Kitu ya kwanza huyo mbwa nime amenipe pesa nyingi sana alikuwa anasa watoto wa savi wanaenda wanaenda therefore hakuna vile nangoje tu mm-hmm. kifo iwe natural siwezi kumuua mm-hmm. eh. there are people who t- t- to kill dogs before their time well sometimes you can be advised by a doctor but dada asubuke kama anachidwa kutembea nini mm-hmm. eh, mass killing inafanyika mm-hmm. unalipia mass killing siwezi kumtupa ama unyonge mm-hmm. eh. <laughs> I never want to keep a dog to that point because I, I can imagine the emotion that ki- comes with that challenge. I, and also like w- when it comes to terminal dogs and terminal do dogs suffer from terminal illnesses over the years? Uh, yeah, wako because even cancer iko. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. about that. There's yeah, yeah, yeah. Have ne- you ever experienced it? No, 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 no. no. Uh, but uh, through experience I, I know mm-hmm. some people work on hizo ama sa nyingine wanakuwa kitu na kaka arthritis mm-hmm. something like that mm-hmm. wanashidwa kutembea mm-hmm. anakaa na rara tu mm-hmm. sasa atanomuonea huruma mm-hmm. atembea unamgeuza unamgeuza mm-hmm. ya nini mm-hmm. sasa sasa hiyo ndio unaweza kuona mass killing wow. umuondoe tu aache kusava okay mm. oh, sad people meno amepoteza meno yote mm-hmm. hata kukura ni challenge mm-hmm. yeah sasa hiyo oh. unamwangalia unaona mm-hmm. at least apumzike Mm. Are you you are a dog trainer when when it comes to services that you offer as a trainer what kind of training do you do uh, mainly the common one either most of my client one attacker mm. uh, definitely we emphasize on uh, aggression because mm. most of people wanahitaji umba for guarding mm. therefore an aggre- uh, a dog that is not aggressive mm. it can be as useless as nothing kwa yule mtu ambaye anataka guard therefore Uh, what we combine because you cannot do aggression alone mm-hmm. uh, obedience and aggression ni kama sinabatana pamoja mm-hmm. kwa sababu deposa mpange umbwa ufanye boarding kitu ya kwanza boarding boarding halafu sasa uanze ku kama hata umbwa hana jina some people may sometimes may not have the name for their dogs we choose the name they will start with the name sasa tunavanya obedience plus aggression mm-hmm. so that the dog can be controllable mm-hmm. yeah So when it's an old dog that comes and it doesn't have a name does it get used to being given a new name how how hard is it or how is is it to train an older dog if it has never had any training as a puppy and now it has been brought to you as an as a let's call it an adult how is your how hard is that that's a very good question uh, commonly we advise people to organize or to make arrangement for the training the dog when it is a little bit younger mm-hmm. because the older the dog the harder to train mm-hmm. they take even longer and that sometimes naambia sasa unaleta hii umba kama ni over two years hii ni gubalo si wote hawatashika lakini kuna mwingine kushika itakuwa real challenge na kuna wengine wanakacha hapo haraka lakini wanachukua muda mrefu kidogo kuliko wao wengine training uh, an average dog is between 45 and 60 days mm-hmm. but for an older dog is over 100 days that is for three months because lazima umpeleka pole 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 mpaka sasa aelewe yeah. mr mwangi that years over that years of dogs when you look ahead what are you doing like to make the legacy of the african dogman continue or, or, uh, do you have any plans or is this it a very good question eh uh, ju kusema kweli mimi ni mzee na ninaendelea kuseeka na the knowledge that i have eh uh, sige peda ti yote niende nayo kwa kamburi siku hiyo ikifika eh now kuna wale vijana na encourage na niko na katha already wametoka kwa mkono yangu nimewa train mambo tatu na in fact 
wanafurahia hata wengine wananiandikia message zaingine wananikutana na nisalimia kwa heshima sana kwa sababu kuna kitu wamepata hata wengine hata si kujua kama walipata kitu ya maana kumbe mtu baadaye ananiambia anaendelea ni wengi all of Kenya kona nyingi za Kenya hata wengine naona kwa net mtu akiniandikia jabu fulani na sio Kenya tu hata the neighboring country niko na watu eh So yeah. the African dogma the African dogma is a legacy it's by itself. Uh, yeah, sure. So u- umeko kifanya kazi yenye unajivunia kwa miaka. What advice do you have? The, it doesn't have to be a dog thing but to us young people who love doing things but you have this one today you drop it you go to another one what advice do you have for the young men and women out there in general wow that's a very good question eh kasi ni kasi na hakuna kasi baya na what i say according to me what i can tell the young people who are coming up maybe the love dogs eh ukifanya na ukue muaminifu ufanya na uaminifu na upende kazi yako definitely utafuna matuda mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. na tena wakati tunafanya hii kazi ya umbwa mm-hmm. sometimes mimi naipenda kwa sababu nakuwa tani kama ni masoezi ina nifanya ni kai fit mm-hmm. now i'm approaching 16 na still naweza kibia kidogo hapa na pale oh, really yeah niko na watu wa sima wakubwa kabisa <laughs> mimi ni bambu mm-hmm. okay yeah Now we are almost coming to the end of this interview and before I say goodbye to the people the african dogman give us a parting shots eh kitu ya kwanza ambao ningesema generally especially to young people ni vizuri ile kitu passion inatoka ndani ya roho yako vanya na uvanye kama hautafanya tena ama hakuna mwingine atafanya na definitely baraka stamiminika na itakuja pande yako not only mambo na umbwa ile kitu yote inatoka kwa roho hata ndio the best imagine mimi nilikuwa na profession nilikuwa nafanya kazi nyingine but love of dog ndio ilifanya nifanye na nikafanya shughuli zangu zote na development kidogo kidogo ile niko nayo imetoka tu hapa na bado saa hii bado nasikia na the best thing ni kupenda umbwa hata siwezi kula chakula ni shimbe kama sijajua umbo amekula hiyo mm-hmm. kitu inanigusa gusa kwa roho mm-hmm. fanya kazi kwa kupenda mm-hmm. na ufanye ukiwa mwaminifu na mambo yote itakuwa mzuri mm-hmm. that's what i can tell mm-hmm. yes yeah, special young people okay we've met a legend today babu is extra extra happy and i hope you get inspired and remember these are dogs it's it's from here from the heart so This is your girl Linda Kenyita and this is Dog TV Kenya the best documentary for all dog lovers remember to subscribe hit the notification bell to get notified every time we upload a new video and also if you'd like to partner with us send us an email at kenyadogtv@gmail.com and also you can DM us at all our social media handles that is Dog TV Kenya